This is the route description for League 5 of the High Wheel Challenge 50km Ultra Trail race route. It starts, League 5 starts at Checkpoint 4, which is located at Withiam Church. Checkpoint 4 is also the same location as Checkpoint 1, which you pass through earlier in the race. So you depart check, Checkpoint 4 to commence League five along the sealed driveway down the gentle hill down to the B road. Upon exiting the sealed driveway reaching the B road you turn left, cross over a stone road bridge and you then turn right it's you're now on the world way you'll see the world way finger post um it's on the right hand side of the road head off along the grass field along the world way zero point eight three miles come up a gentle rise up some steps you reach uh, join on to another farm track, turn right. Uh, landscape trail disc would be useful here. 0 0.89 miles. You reach the end of the trail and you've got a gate, a big metal gate on the right hand side. You need to go through the metal gate. A disc landscape trail disc would be useful here to put on the gate post. Do not cross the stile on the left and go up the hill. So you need to pass through, go through the large metal gate. I just realised I've um, it's not the high world landscape trail we're now on. This is the world way footpath. So we need a world way this get those last two possible confusing bits. So once you've passed through the large metal gate you continue along the sealed driveway. 1.13 miles after exiting the sealed driveway across the quiet country lane and directly in front of you you'll see the style with the wheel way disc marker. Go over the stile and continue along the trail along the fields. 1.84 miles you've continued along the trail along the left hand side of the fields and you cross a footbridge. Uh, would help with some world way discs on the footbridge to suggest to tell you to continue along the trail over the footbridge. 1.90 miles shortly after you've crossed that first footbridge you're still on the left hand side of the field you'll see on your left another footbridge coming in from the left do not cross that but that's a marker to sh show you that you need to veer gently right well not that gentle but uh, do not continue straight ahead on the field on the left hand side of the field you need to veer right a marker post here with um, world way footpath disc would be very useful to indicate that you veer right and cross the field towards a, uh, a power pole 2.03 miles you need to cross the stone concrete bridge 2.20 miles after crossing another concrete bridge you want to turn immediately left turn left uh, and follow the path the roadway path there is an old finger post there which is the marker post which is falling over but it does show the world way footpath disc but it could be probably replaced which would be useful 2.51 miles leave the field and go underneath the railway line through the nice brick 
arch under the railway line. 2.61 miles coming up from the railway line at the edge of the field. Uh, you see a big finger post 50 metres in front of you but if you look slightly to the right in, strand, in front of you you'll see a smaller finger post you want to head towards that one ok 2.66 miles you've reached the old style there's an old style and there's the finger post well a marker post on the style and it has WW, a white WW marker so you want to head up the hill ok um, there's the fence is broken next to the stile so you, no need to climb the stile but it's WW world way up the hill 2.81 miles after you've climbed a little bit of a hill you'll go through a new metal gate which has got a little walker's gate at the side of the metal gate pass through the metal gate and stay at the same height of the hill and follow the trail you'll see straight ahead or gently to the right a wooden fence in the distance so follow the trail to that wooden fence well it's actually follow the trail to the wooden gate but keep the same height so no need to go any higher or go any lower 3.54 miles as you pass through a kissing gate to leave a nice trail, single track trail you reach the A road you want to turn left along the A road only for a tiny bit, probably around 80 metres along the A road be careful 3.61 miles you want to leave the A road head along Broad Lane only for 15 metres along Broad Lane and then turn right up a private driveway so turn right after 15 metres along Broad Lane up the private driveway then shortly 25 metres later turn left you'll see the WW Worldway disc on a post a big lamp post and you'll see the stile in front of you so head over the stile along the world way footpath across the fields 4.39 miles you've reached the village green of Fordcombe probably best to head slightly to the right of the cricket pitch and aim for the right of the white cricket pavilion 4.46 miles as you leave the village green you'll get to the road, uh, B road you want to cross directly over the B road and you'll see Ford Kim Lane Okay, also known as the lane, so head up Fordkin Lane. 4.84 miles, so um, you've been following the lane, running along the quiet country lane for around 0 0.4 of a mile, just as you crest the top of the hill and you've done about 50 metres down the lane. Look to your right and you will see a style ok it's uh, not totally clear but there is a big WW um, finger post sign there although it just says footpath going where you've got to go over the style and follow along the footpath so a WW disc world wide disc would be useful on the actual style so turn right over the style off from the lane 5.00 miles as you cross the stile you reach a you come on to a quiet country lane and you should see right in front of you checkpoint 5 ok so that is the end of leg 5 which was exactly 5 miles and uh, this is the last checkpoint and you haven't got far to go from checkpoint 5
to complete League 6 to get back to Greenbridge Place.